What's up guys? We are back on Supercar Street Racing again and you see in the Supercar Street Racing living room literally nothing happening except what's on this table and this is a safety device for the Supercar Street Racing awesome channel and we've been needing this because we need a backup solution for the channel and this is going to be it. Hey guys, we are in the awesome Supercar Street Racing living room and you can see right behind me, literally nothing is happening in my living room except for one thing. Directly and also in front of me is this Seagate expansion, 16 terabyte hard drive. My plan right here and right now is to use this backup device for the Supercar Street Racing awesome editing studio. Now, as you guys know, we did put in this cool solid state drive here, right here. This is a solid state NAS that uses M.2 SSDs, and it does have about 12 terabytes. However, we need to get some of that data off of there because we have a lot of data after editing for so long. So we are gonna hook that directly up to this NAS right here and go ahead and use the backup feature of the NAS to back up our data to the 16 terabyte expansion drive. Now this does have USB 3.0 and it will plug directly into the back of this NAS right here. But let's get this thing out of the box right now and go ahead and see what exactly we are dealing with because I don't know what is actually in here. It says something about rescue recovery data services included. I think that means if your drive fails they will help you get your data but I'm not 100% sure yet. So let's figure it out. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what's inside. This is the Seagate expansion drive that I did purchase. It was $229 and I did use the payment plans with Amazon. So that will pay over, I think it is four months. And we do have the Supercar Street Racing Awesome registered and copyrighted big, huge kitchen knife to get this guy directly out of the box from its plastic wrapper. And on the back, it does say add on storage for your PC and Mac in about 750 languages, which none of them I speak. Here is the Seagate expansion out of the packaging and on top it just says one year limited warranty. And that's about it for the box. There is not a lot of data on here. It says connect with computers on the back. And coming out of the box first is a, feels like a power supply and some cabling right here. Let's go ahead and see what we have right here. Inside of the box here is power supply, and a USB 3 cable. If you want to do USB-C, you can. You will need to buy the adapter for this to go to USB-C, but I don't have USB-C on my NAS or the editing computer in the office. All right, inside of the power supply, there is a thousand ways to connect this depending on your country. We are in the United States. We use 110, and therefore, this is our connector right here. All right, you push the button and the cover does just directly come off and you take your replacement, push the button and slide it back in and now we are ready for 110 volt power. Now directly in front of me, we do have our hard drive to get out and it is accompanied by some cardboard and is inside a plastic condom. Has a kind of a cool carbon fiber like look. Very, very minimalistic and on the back slash bottom, it does have the connector for the cable and the power supply. Let's go ahead and connect the cable to it and you can only be connected one way and it is connected. And now the power supply just does go in just like this. And that is it. That is all there is to using the Seagate expansion drive. Now let's get it into the NAS and see if we can figure that part out. Here's our Asus Store NAS, and there is a USB 3 port in the back here. We're gonna go ahead and try to place this on the side of our Asus Store and run the power somewhere. So let's get this over to the side. We have plenty of space now for this, but I just need to get in there and get these cables from the back. Let's go ahead and do that now.
do see a power light on the side or either a power switch. Looks like just a power light, so we should be good. It is turned on. Let's go ahead and take a look at our NAS on the computer and see if we can figure out how to get this called up. Okay, we're directly in front of our NAS page right now. I have not used this at all. All right, I'm gonna do some reading and figure this out. I located my device under external devices. It looks like it has two partitions in it. I'm almost tempted to, to bring it to the computer and delete this partition. It is already formatted, uh, EXFAT. So now I just gotta figure out, I just wanna back stuff up without having to do it manually. So I'm looking for a way to do that now. But there's a backup restore, let's try that. External backup. USB 4 is the one that it wants to back up to, and that's fine. Your NAS to an external device, let's go. Multiply items to a single location. Okay, that's what kind of what I want. I'm gonna select everything except the USB drive. USB 4-2 is where we're going. USB 4-2 next, backup now, and schedule backup. Weekly, Monday at 1 a.m. Next. Okay, so archive mold is incremental backup. That's what we wanna do. Let's go and see what happens. It says it is backing up right now. So we will update you guys if it actually does that. Good morning, it is another day and I wanted to give you guys a little update about the Seagate expansion drive and the backup from NAS. Now this is my Asus Store NAS control panel. And as you can see right here, it has a lot of different apps and you can actually add more apps from their app store if you want to. But part of the basic applications that come with the Asus store is backup and restore right there. But I wanted to first show you guys external devices here. Now, if we go here to the external devices, you can see the Seagate expansion came with two different partitions. One was 196 megabytes and the other one was 14.55 uh, terabytes. I did not remove the first partition. I might eventually do that. For right now, this is fine. And, and also, as part of the apps that come with the Asus Store, you get this cool little thing called Backup and Restore. Now, if we go here to External Backup, that is how you do a backup from the NAS to an external device or vice versa. We have our backup here. Now, it finished at 7.54 p.m. last night. So it took probably eight or nine hours to do around six terabytes, which is not crazy, being that it was USB 3.0. So this backup here, if you go into it and you click edit here, it shows you that we're backing up from my Asus Store NAS to an external device. We're telling it to put everything from the source to a single place on the destination. We told it what folders. We told it which uh, partition. Now here's where you tell it the schedule. It's gonna back up weekly, 1 a.m. on a Monday morning. And then here's your options for the backup. You can do an incremental backup, and then there's a few little other options. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and confirm your backup. Now you can change the way that backup works by editing some of the options there, but that's my current plan is to back up this until it gets full. What I'm gonna do after that is go ahead and buy another drive of the same kind. I'm gonna just take that one and store it away in a safe place offsite. So that is my plan to archive my channel for the near future. I don't keep anything on the local machines. I edit off of the NAS, so that way I don't have to back up these local machines. Most that could happen is that if these machines failed, I would reinstall Windows and reinstall DaVinci Resolve, and that is not too hard to do. So that is the way this works here for the Supercar Street Racing channel. That's gonna keep the channel safe and keep it from losing data.
We've got a new sponsor today on Supercar Street Racing. Today we have Zato, who has been so kind as to provide us with three products to check out here on the channel. And the first product we have is the Zato oil treatment, up to five liters of motor oil treated here on this product. And this product will help engines that have worn out parts run better, perform better, improve gas mileage, and also make your car get better performance as well. Now you do just add this directly to your oil and it should increase the performance of your car and give you more horsepower, give your engine better life, and also help with older parts that are already starting to wear out. Next thing we have right here from Zato is their catalytic converter treatment. And all you do is put this in your gasoline and this does treat your catalytic converter. And what that does is allows you to not build up soot. This also helps your EGR system and helps to prevent you from losing O2 sensors because this will help them from getting deposits on the end and they are expensive to go ahead and replace. Now third on the list here is the automatic transmission revitalizer. You go ahead and put this inside your automatic transmission. This does help you with shuttering, with vibrations, with shifting, and with parts that are worn out and improves the overall life of your automatic transmission. All three of these products are gonna be available in the description. Go ahead and support the channel by clicking the official links in the description. And I wanna thank Zato for becoming a sponsor of Supercar Street Racing. Without them, this video would not be possible. Back at Supercar Street Racing, where the live stream is going strong right now, we have the Seagate Expansion 16 terabyte drive looking so fly right here in front of me. And you can see right now that it is 229. I did purchase this for 229. And you can see you can do a plan here for payment. And this is the Affirm plan and it is not charging interest. So if you wanna do that and you can get 0% interest, all you have to do is click that little button there when you buy your Seagate expansion. Now, if you're interested in a bigger one, when you step from 16 terabytes at 229, you go up to 18, the price goes to 329, so it'll cost you 100 more bucks, up to 20 terabytes, 24 will cost you 517 bucks. That's the Seagate expansion. And right now on Amazon, it is sitting at a cool 4.6 stars. It has 262,000 reviews. That is a very good review for the Seagate expansion drive. So looks like people are trusting this drive and giving it good reviews. It has a connector for the back of the drive to a USB 3.0. And you can actually get a cable for this that will adapt it to USB-C. Looking at the side of the drive there, like I showed you earlier, it has kind of a carbon fiber look. It's saying that once you get this a 20 terabyte drive, if you choose a 20, you're gonna have some massive space that you didn't have before for your for anything that uses USB 3.0. And you can drag and drop stuff directly out of the Windows and the Mac there. And right there, it's showing you the smaller version of the drive right there. It does come in smaller versions as well. Guys, I wanted to thank you so much for supporting Supercar Street Racing and buying all your products through our links. We will have a link in the description to the Seagate expansion drive. I know it's not a lot of data in the video, but what I wanted you guys to know the most was that the drive has great reviews on Amazon, and we did get one to try and help Supercar Street Racing not lose any data. So taking a look at our channel, looks like we've gotten over 5,100 new subscribers this month alone. We've done some big, things on the channel and we appreciate you guys supporting us so much and we hope that you continue to support the channel by liking and subscribing go ahead and pick up a seagate expansion if you need some extra space the 20 terabyte is a great deal right now it is on sale 50 percent off go ahead and grab one and let me know what you think in the comments we'll see you guys next time on supercar street racing